Once you guys got another video on four common password mistakes people make and they should avoid when creating passwords to log into websites or banking sites or other types of financial sites that they log into. But before we continue with any of this, let me have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Head over to CD Key Sales, create yourself an account. And then you can use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD key sales. This is website wide on their site. Once you get that, they will send you the key and you can activate your version of Windows. OK, so let's get back to the four common mistakes that people make with their passwords. The first one is their base password, which is simplicity. Now, spec ops have done a massive survey and you can see the common passwords which are still used today in 2023 are just so simple. It's their base password which people use to log in to their accounts. Many people use passwords that are too short and they are their base passwords which are family names, pet names, hobbies and other really easy names for the hacker to basically crack. They use passwords like 123456 and password and welcome and things like that as you can see on here, they've done over 4.6 million passwords collected over the several weeks which they've done their survey and found that people are just using too much of an easy, simple base term. And they also shared with everyone the top 10 NVIDIA passwords that were leaked. And this was NVIDIA, believe it or not, password and QWERTY and welcome and things like that, which are super easy for people to uh, crack or hack. And it's really not a good idea to use simple passwords like these. Instead, what you should be doing is using long passwords, at least 12 characters or more, having a complexity which includes numbers, symbols, and both uppercase and lowercase. Make it difficult for someone to guess, but don't follow any sort of pattern which may include random words. Now, if you're like me, most people can't remember their passwords, so you can use software like Bitwarden which is basically going to allow you to store all of your passwords inside here. And this will keep it nice and safe and encrypted away from people so they won't be able to gain access to it. So if you want to use something like this, Bitwarden is probably one of the best ones out there on the market. Now, I know Bitwarden is a pretty top notch uh, password manager. It hasn't been breached yet. There has been ones out there that have been breached before and they've had all of their password to disclose to uh, hackers and other people that have breached it. But 1Password is another one you can give it a go if you wish. And also there's other ones like Dashlane as well, which is another uh, password manager which you might be interested in using. I'll leave some of the links in the video description if you're interested. Remember to use unique passwords for every single uh, site that you're on. Another one I want to show you here is the time to crack an MD5 hashed password. And this is why it's so important to use uh, 12 characters or more on your passwords. You can see just numbers only, it can do it instantly. People can crack this within two days if it has lowercase only. And if it was 12 characters with uppercase and lowercase, it will take 19 years. And if you had numbers, uppercase and lowercase, it will take 159 years. And if you had numbers, uppercase, lowercase and symbols, it will take 26,000 uh, years basically to basically crack that password. And that's why it's important if you use 13 uh, characters, you can see here with numbers, uppercase, lowercase and symbols, it will take 3 million years. So it's important to use really strong passwords on all of your sites. And that way it will be impossible for them to hack or crack your particular password. And then basically what you don't want to do is reuse or recycle any of your old passwords. That's another mistake people make. Sharing passwords insecurely across emails and things like that is never a good idea either. Or using any sort of uh, keyboard layouts like QWERTY or any other keyboard sequences because these are all easy for hackers to exploit and gain access to sites that you may be using these passwords on. So be very, very careful. Uh, what you're doing. Remember, big companies like banks and Google and other companies like this will never ever ask you for your password. And if someone's asking you for your password in an email or on the phone, then you want to hang up the phone or just delete that email because they are trying to scam you. 
Anyway, with that said, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. That is four or more password mistakes to avoid when creating passwords. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you're having a lovely weekend. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.